Hey, peace everyone. This is part two. Okay, video I cut short, so this is part two of um that um proven facts that the uh, you know where most sides I rap says where it's fairy and it's prophecies out according to you know the plagues and the famine and you know you know all the sickness and disease, coronavirus outbreaks, you know, which is a widespread situation. Negroes are being woke, family against each other, a lot of domestic violence. There's so many contagious things, and it all dwells within, you know, and, and, and from the Bible. The Bible brings out all them situations that's 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 happening, all them bizarre uh, excitements that's happening, you know. So let me just finish up with um. Revelations. Let me go get to Revelations um real quick for where I left off at. Give me one second. Go to this is Revelations two. I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read further up, just a little bit up. Um, I was at a verse twelve. Okay, so here it goes. So uh, this is. The, this is one of the letter of um the scriptures I'm bringing out of uh, Pergamos, right? Seven churches that the the Bible um, discusses talks about. Um, Ephesus, Sim Sim Simra, Pergamos, Thyatira, Sardis, Philadelphia, Laodicea. It talks about them seven churches, them letters that we're supposed to be writing to. Spiritually, we're supposed to be right into what we're supposed to follow and take heed upon. Y'all need to study about the seven churches. That's um, you go pick up the, the these um seven churches that the um Bible is speaking of in the book of John. All right, and this is a chapter two. You throughout chapter three through the verse 14. Um, yeah, through chapter two and three. All right, you can pick up for the seven churches. All right. So, what I was saying now, let me focus. All right. Let me turn this off. All right. I know thy works, all right? This is where Christ knows about tribulation, know about people's wickedness. He knows about the darkness. And he said, I know thy works, all right? And where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seat, seat is, and thou holdest fast my name, and have not denied my fate, even those days wherein Antipas was my faithful m martyr, who was slain among you, was Satan dwell, dwelling. But I have a few things against those, because those have their them that hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block there for the children of Israel. To eat things sacrificed unto idols, and to commit fornication, to so have thou also them that hold the doctrine of nicotine, which thing I hate. Repent, or else I will come unto thee quickly. Repent, and I will come unto thee quickly, and I will fight against them with the sword of, of my mouth. Last scripture: He that hath been here, them here, what the Spirit said unto the churches. All right. To him that overcome it, will I give to eat of the hidden hidden manna, and will give him a white stone, in the stone a new name written, which no man know it, saving saving he that received it. All right. So that's just telling us that we have a chance to repent. Repent from our wicked ways. Repent. Have some plans to repent. Don't be part of the crowd. Don't do it because you want to stop because it's someone else. You want to stop because you're waiting for your brothers to do it. You want to repent because you see everybody doing it. Repent now. Repent from your evil ways. You know what you're doing, wicked. You're the, you, you, you better not be the one that's watching this video right now and laughing or staring and grinning your teeth and thinking weird and you know don't be the weirdo don't be that suspect you know perfect yourself bro. you're a bad guy you're an evil person you fall after the devil mischief you love like to run into problems alright if you
you that type of person, you need to repent. So that's Revelation chapter 2. Now I'm going to get into our last scripture. Luke chapter 6, verse 20. Another scripture of Christ. This is biblical prophecy. All this stuff I bring out, it will happen. We're going to the scripture when, I, when it mentions about we're all going to be against each other and it's going to be a whole bunch of issues. A lot of warfare, a lot of problems, a lot of arguments, a lot of fights, a lot of threats, a lot of nastiness, a lot of people eating unclean food, a lot of things that people don't even know of, whatever. You know, it's going to be a lot of abomination unto those. Pick up the Bible and read, follow it, listen to it, and confess that the Savior, the Son of Man, Jesus Christ, is going to be the one for you. <clears throat> if not, then I don't know who, who you got. I guess y'all got yourself. Y'all can't win. Nobody's going to win. The Black Panther was close. They ain't win. They bust shots. Where the, where the Negroes are taking over? Nothing happened. Martin Luther King Jr., he brought, I believe, in a dream, a lot of speech. Dream, you know what I mean? They ain't went nowhere, Malcolm X. Well, Malcolm X was there somewhat. Still ain't set any goals for, for, for a Negro revolution. I ain't seen that happen. I'm doing this video. Keep those woke and tell those to pray and have faith and distance yourself and obey and follow the law. You have one life to live. You 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 should be damn well glad that you live to the to see another day. All the stuff that you're talking about, everything, if it ain't of God, it's vain. It don't mean anything. It's a wasting. Alright? So let me get into Luke six. 20 and when I mean everything is a waste when I say certain what's a, what's a, it's a waste thing I mean it's vain it's nothing you rambling about for what you get yourself to too much issues for what too much problems you're so bored that you you doing what monkeys be monkeys be doing just hopping and bouncing around freaking stuff them out with bananas and all that that's how you look like. You don't want to look like that type of person. You want to refrain yourself from being that type of person. You will humiliate yourself. You will recognize yourself later on and just think about your past. Like, oh my God, I can't believe that was me. And you will feel embarrassed. Because you was this type of sinner. 